Now, it was a cracking first day for Yorkshire. Let's just give you a reminder. Uh, ben Code produced a career best six for 25, leaving Lancashire reeling at 123 all out. Yorkshire began day two, just 30 behind on 93 for two. And Gary Balance got underway with a four off Mahmood and followed it up with another boundary off the same bowler. Now, Balance was scoring freely, but Live was big calm for a time before getting underway with three runs after about a half an hour of play. Then a breakthrough as Balance was well caught by Vilas in the slips off McLaren for 28. There was nearly a run out soon afterwards, a slight misunderstanding between Live and Leaning, but nothing to worry about in the end. Two fours followed from uh, uh, Live and he brought up his 50 uh, with free runs off Mahmood and a lovely covered drive from Live gave him a further four. He was really starting to blossom again. But then his partner, Leaning, was out superbly caught by McLaren in the slips off Mahmood for 15. Next delivery, further problems for Yorkshire. A golden duck as Bresnan was caught by Vilas off Mahmood for naught. Been some good catching by Lancashire this morning. Hod uh, accounted for the hat-trick ball rather splendidly, hitting it away for four just before lunch. And at the interval... It's Yorkshire, and it's still in a good position, but wobbling a bit toward lunch. 185 for 5, 57 overs. Now, live is 85. If he can add those 15 runs, it'll be his first century in the championship this season. Hod is 4, all to play for in the second session. Hod and live both registered falls in the early afternoon. Hod hit the mood away to third man, and with that, uh, 4 moved to 19. But then another wicket for Mahmood and a great catch by Vilas in the slips. Hod gone for 23 and Yorkshire 214 for 6. Rafi got off the mark with two runs and then hit Mahmood to the ropes on the leg side. They then succumbed a wicket for Clark. He skied one to square leg and subfielder Rob Jones took the catch. 236 for 7 the home side. Rafi gone for 17. Enter the Centurion from the last Roses game, Jack Brooks. He quickly picked up a four with a shot down to third man. And the showing patience in the 90s, Live got the single for his 100. But almost straight away he departed. Caught at the wicket of Clark for that 100, Yorkshire 245 for eight. A good innings by Adam Live. Let's hope it launches his season for him. After Cole has struck a four, he was out to court to... Of Clark for four by wicketkeeper Davis. Brooks, as ever, started to go for his shot and boundaries followed. But then he was hit on the arm guard and needed some treatment. Thankfully, OK. He recovered and both he and side bottom defied Lancashire, picking up runs along the way. But then Brooks was caught in the deep by Hamid of Bailey. So 273 all out. A handy lead this of 150. The final session started with Hamid and Davis at the wicket and Davis struck side bottom to the ropes with a straight drive to take Lancashire to 16 without loss. Brooks was soon on the charge as he trapped Davis LBW for 10 and as ever the great celebration from Brooksy. Lancashire 23 for 1. Proctor came to the wicket and joined Hamid. The two batted solidly for a time, but slowly, and Hamid, who's out of touch, fell LBW to the informed Ben Code for 10. Lancashire 33 for 2, and in real trouble. Then Brooks struck, having Proctor caught by Bresnan at slip for 23, and Lancashire 61 for the loss of three wickets. Then the skipper went, caught by Live, offside bottom for 27. Lancashire were living dangerously. A couple of false shots towards the slips just failed to bring reward for Yorkshire. Shanderpaul found the boundary twice off Tim Bresnan and Lancashire managed to take the match into the third day. And that's exactly what they've done at 141 for four. A little bit of a fight back. Shanderpaul looks good on 43. Villas is on 22.